again, you see, I think, the yellow video. This is going to be the orange video. I'm about to do my eyebrows off camera. But I hope I've been keeping up with the videos. Like I've said, I've been trying to do. If I haven't, I'm sorry. But if I haven't seen, I've been trying. Sorry. So, eyebrows are done. I'm going to start in this video. So, like I always say, I always use it to prime my eyes. It's the Ruby Kisses um, primer. I do have to get a new one. I think it's a glitter primer, but I love it. As you can see, like my eyebrows kind of look matte. Like all of me look matte is because of this. And then I use the oil control toner to just spray over my face before I put this on. So I put it all over my lids, through my eyebrows, and a little bit under my eyes. That's how I did it. Did the eyebrows with the Bakley 2 markers that I did in my other video. If y'all see it, it's somewhere in my video. Go so check it out. If y'all want me to do a better one, let me know and I'll show you how I get these smashing eyebrows on camera and off camera. Yeah. So, we can go in with my makeup resolution of like, we have carved out the eyebrows. I'm going to use this to carve out my eyebrows because I'm doing an orange look. I have to put them all the way up to like this area. So I was going to show you this part on camera instead of going off and then I had to explain that I did all this stuff and you didn't even see it. So, and I have to get another one. On the first, this though is about to make a lot of money for me. <laughs>
Now, if you're a lighter person or you're not as dark as me, you probably don't have to do all this. But to get that color that I like and make sure it stands out and I'm in there for a good amount of time, this is what I have to, you know, start off with. We know my nice little dandy sponge. Basically, it's to help you clean off excess from your brush and just rub it in like that. And as you can see, my brush already looked kind of brand new clean. It's just with this. So from now, we'll go back with this Makeup Revolution. Product move, it just looked like it got more pigmented. And you just want to keep on patting. And it's just to help sure that it blends with the bottom one. And bring it within like that corner part of your eyes. Concealer be like the only thing that kind of adding that light color up under my eye. I just go with whatever I put on top on the bottom. We're trying to get my eyes orange. Where it looks, but doesn't matter. So let's get into this wonderful idea. So, as you can see, I have a nice white base, and you can try to get a little bit. But technically, this is not a problem. Normally, when I do, I blend the white up all the way into like the brown area. But because it's the orange look, I don't have to take care of it that much. So, I'm going to be using Zulu and Af I don't know. Those are the two that I'm using right now. So we have this one, and then we have forget that, that one. So I'm using these two colors up here on this one, which is the yellow and this orange one right here, and then on this one. I'm only using one color, which is this orange color. Can I get the finger right there? So, and that's what we're about to do. We're about to pause and come back for a couple seconds. So, I brought y'all up closer for y'all to see what I'm doing. We got to get this flat brush right here. Just a flat brush. I'm about to go in this one. Take this 
work on top. thing to go with these little stick tapes. What I do, these are the ones that people use for when they're doing fake lashes. So I stick on my hands, they're very sticky compared to like the makeup ones. To get some of the stickiness off like you would do the tape. So these are like very, very sticky. bottom lash area that way I don't get that of my hair so I've done it a couple times where I got my eyebrows and it's not comfortable I gotta say I'm incredibly excited Thank <laughs> you. 
So this is how I did the first eye. As you can see, it is a complete eye.
what we got so far. But orange with it. And I kind of like this color. It's not like in your face orange, but it's orange. Like this could be like an everyday, like. I'm gonna have to see how I can do it today, but this is like something that I can use like church and stuff. I kind of like this orange. But, <laughs> off topic. Uh, small blending brush. It's just a small blending brush. There's really nothing that fits. So, I'm going to this one. I'm going to go in with this yellow right here. trying to make show at this point because after this this is the probably the last time i'm going to actually go into a palette to get the yellow after this i'm just going to use this brush to bring out the current color which is the pre color or the second color however you want to see but i'm doing you the third color so yeah i'm gonna get it great Thank you. 
this brush right here, which is more of a bigger kind of brush. Let's kind of show you what that looks like. Right here. This will be part. I'm going to go with this orange right here. My husband. What's up, babe? I'm going to go under this one. I was thinking of this one. Sorry about that. Look at that. My husband just got off, so he's moving around. So, we'll go right above that one and pack this one.
try to blend that red out a little bit more as you can see it's going to fade out a little bit back into the orange Thank you. 